this video, I'm going to share what is directed graph, undirected graph, and also wet graph. Now we are going to learn differences between directed graphs and undirected graphs. The diagram below are simple graphs. Simple graph is graph that without lobes and multiple edges. Set of vertices of the first diagram are A, B, C, D. Edges are A, B, A, C, B, C, B, D, and C, D. The order of the vertices written is not important. Means you can write A, B, or B, A. Here you can write C, A, or A, C. Degree for vertex A is 2, 1, 2. Degree for vertex B is 3, 1, 2, 3. Degree for vertex C is 3, 1, 2, 3. Degree for vertex D is 2, 1, 2. So total of degree is equal to 10. For second diagram is directed graph. If we look at the diagram, quite similar to this one, only here we have arrow. So, set of vertices is also A, B, C, D. Set of edges must follow the direction A, C, B, A, B, C, B, D, and C, D. So for this part, the order of the vertices written according to the direction of the edge. Degree in for vertex A equal to 1, means only 1 go into vertex A. Degree out vertex A equal to 1. So from A go out, have 1 only. Degree in for B is equal to 0. Degree out for vertex B equal to 3. So from B here, 1, 2, 3. Degree in C, we have 2. 1 go in, 2 go into vertex C. Degree out of vertex C equal to 1, 1 here. Degree in for vertex D is equal to 2. So D is here. Go in, we have 2. Degree out for vertex D is equal to, oh, this one to correction, degree out for vertex D equal to 0. So sum of degree is equal to 10 or so. Differences between directed graph and undirected graphs with lobes and multiple edges. The first one is undirected graph. Set of vertices are A, B, C, D, and E. Set of edges, we have AB, AE, BC, BE, CC, CD, another CD because it's multiple edges, DE, EE, and EA. How many edges here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If here 9, here also 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Mm, got extra, right? Okay, which one extra? Check. Yeah. E, A. A, E. If we have A, E already, we don't need to write E, A. Because the order of the vertices written is not important for undirected graph. Degree of vertex A equal to 2. A here 1, 2. Degree of vertex B, 1, 2, 3. Degree of vertex C, C we have, because this is lobes, so we have clockwise and anticlockwise. So 2, 3, 4, 5. Degree D, D is here, 1, 2, 3. Degree for vertex E, also, same thing looks here. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And don't forget here, 5. 
So total of degree is 18. So sum of degree is 18. So we look at the directed graph here. Set of vertices A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. Set of edges here. Normally I will start from alphabet A and only write for go out. So A go to B. So A, B. B go to E. So I write B, E. C go to B. So C, B. C, C. Here, C, C. C go to D. So I write C, D. D go to C. So D, C. E go to D. E, D. E, E. And the last one, E go to A. So E, A. This is how we write the set of edges for directed graph. So the order of the vertices is written according to the direction of the edge. Now degree in for vertex A. A is here. Go in how many? One only. So one here. Degree out for vertex A. Also one. Because here go out one. Degree in for vertex B. Vertex B how many in? One, two. So equal to 2. Degree out for B, vertex B here, go out 1 only. Degree in for vertex C, 1 go in and another 1 here go in. Degree out for vertex C, go out from C, you know this one loops, 1 go in, 1 go out. So 1, 2, 3. Degree in for vertex D, so how many go into D? 1 and 2. Degree go out from vertex D. From vertex D go out here 1. Last point. Degree in for vertex E. So E here 1. And here another 1. So 2 here. Degree out for vertex E. Go out you know here also loops. So 1 go in another 1 go out. So 1 here, go out, and 2, 3. So the sum of degree for directed graph is 18. Now we are going to learn the last part of this video, weighted graph. What is weighted graph? The edges of directed graph or undirected graph associated with a value we call it as weighted graph. Now we look at the question. Table 1 shows distances of 4 places. Diagram 1 shows an incomplete undirected graph connecting the 4 places. A. Complete the diagram 1 by drawing an undirected weighted graph. So when we want to complete the diagram 1, we need to, we need to refer the table 1 here. A to B. Distance is at A, B is here. Distance is at kilometer. So I write the number at the edge of AB here at kilometer. AD, 5 kilometer. AD. So I need to draw a line here, AB, and write the number 5. BC, 3 kilometer. B to C is here. So I write the number here, 3. BD, 4 kilometer. B to D is here, so 4 km. And the last one, C, D, C to D, equal to 5 km. So here, draw a line and write the number. So we already complete the undirected weighted graph. Next, calculate the shortest roof from A to C. From A to C, we came from here, go here, and another way is from here, go here. And also, we can a here, go here, and then go here. But which one is the shortest? Okay, we check one by one. If from this root, at plus 3 equal to 11. If go through here, 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 5 plus 4, 9. 9 plus 3, 12. If go through the purple color line here, 5 plus 5. So 5 plus 5 equal to 10. So I choose... A, go to D and C. 
N to D and from D to C means 5 plus 5 equal to 10 kilometer. That's all for today. Thank you. If, if you like my video, please click like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.